is Roxana from the blog AcquaintLife.com and today I have for you a natural lip balm. As I mentioned, these are natural lip balms. They work really well to moisturize the skin. They make great gifts, so if you ever make homemade gifts, these are great to pop into like maybe a little homemade beauty bag. We have other uh, recipes for other homemade DIY natural beauty on this channel, so go ahead and search for those. I'll leave a little link right here if you're interested. This lip balm has just a few ingredients. I will list them right there for you. Um, you're also going to need a double boiler, so our makeshift double boiler is what I'm going to be using today, but if you have a real double boiler, go ahead and use that. And then you're going to need containers to um, place the lip balm in. I like to use these cute little circular containers that I found on Amazon, and I will leave the link in the description below for all the ingredients and these great little containers. But with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by adding a quarter cup of each beeswax, cocoa butter, and coconut oil to our double boiler. If you are using essential oils, wait to put those in. For now, we're just gonna melt all three of these ingredients together. When it's all ready and melted, then you can go ahead and add your essential oils. Today, I'm keeping it pretty plain. I'm just gonna make basic ones. The cocoa butter in here is going to leave a little bit of a scent in them, so that's why I don't feel I need to add the essential oils. If you choose to add essential oils to this, some great ones to consider are lavender, peppermint, sweet orange, and grapefruit. And if you've stuck around this channel for any bit of time, you know that I have my trusty piece of foil that I use over and over for these projects. It just helps to get everything melted a little bit faster. It's all melted. At this point, this is where you would add your essential oils if you're using those. Today, again, I am not. Here I have my containers already. I like to use a little funnel for this. I find it works really well. Make sure to use something to protect your hands because the bowl's pretty hot. And you have to work a little bit quickly because this likes to set pretty fast. So I'm just gonna get everything into each container. Just to give you an idea, I made eight half ounce containers worth of lip balm. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Every single week I bring brand new videos of from scratch cooking, natural home remedies, and garden growing. Thanks again for watching.